Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and we're back with another Steam Deck video. This will be a quick one, probably, but we're going to be talking about games and where they install. So, how do we dictate where the game installs and how do we control that? So, there's two different things, or I shouldn't say things, there's two different ways that it can happen. The first way is if you're in your library which is where I'm at right now I'm in my library and you can go to a game I'm gonna go down to a small one because I also want to show you how to move a game just in case you don't know all right uh, there should be the thing the smallest game I had was this one all right it's not compatible. We're not going to worry about that. We just want to install it so I can show you how to do it. So this one, if you hit install, this remember, this is from my library. If I hit install, where does it go? So where it goes, we're going to go down to settings and we're going to go down to, didn't pass it today. I don't think so. Storage. Now you can see storage here. That star next to my micro SD card means that that is the default location. And as you can see on the very bottom of it is the East origin or however you say that wise East. I've heard it said so many different ways. The game that we just installed is down there and it's installing there. So now I said there was another way that it could happen. And the other way that it can happen is actually from the store. If you go to the store and let's say great on deck, I think if I was to pick, was it RPG I was in when I was looking? RPG. And we went down here, there was Shop Titans. Good. Free to play. All that good stuff. So we go here and we hit play game. It's actually going to tell, ask us, not tell us where we want to install it. At that point, we can select whichever drive we want. And it also tells us the amount of free space, so that's good. So that's from the store, and that's the options you get there. And you can go to manage storage. It'll take you over here, all that good stuff, which is what we want to do anyways, because we want to go back to the micro SD card. And this isn't done yet, but we could pick any one of these other games that we wanted to. Let's say, uh, what's a small one? Dinkum. And we hit the Y button. We now can move this to our internal drive, which is my, the NVMe drive for me, um, which is the larger one. I have tons of free space on it. Even though I've got Elden Ring and some Proton stuff. Don't want to fill it up with games because it's also got the operating system and any other things that you download. Which I guess you could also tell those to go to wherever you want. But anyways, it's going to keep moving until it's over on the other one and then we would see it on the internal drive. It might take a while. I'm not going to make you guys wait for that. Oh, and then it flashes way over there. So, ah, okay. Fine. Make a liar out of me. All right, so now we go back over... Uh, I gotta be up there to do it I guess I do you'll see that now Dinkum or however you say it is now on the internal drive and that is how you move stuff so in short if you're in your library whichever storage device has the star that is your default location for anything you install from your library. If you're in the store and you buy a game and install it from there, it'll ask you where you want it and you could tell it whichever drive you want. So those are the only things that I've seen when it comes to storage. If there's any other videos you guys would like to see, like me cover, you guys have any questions on the Steam Deck, let me know down, down in the comments. I'll do my, get, my best to answer those questions. But until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz. Help. I don't really want that installed. It was just an example, man, because it was small.